Shalom, shalom, shalom. Oh, we're going to bring it out. Before we get started with this live lesson, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth. And double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring in the house of David, the elect that's pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom unto you, brothers. All right, so yeah, me and the elder Yashawamba was just talking before we started rolling, and we were just talking about, you know, the immortality that's coming, you know, you know the, the, the perfection that awaits us, man, you know, because that's ultimately what we're striving for, man, right. to be perfected under the second covenant, you know? That's right, bro. So we're going to get right into it. All right, this is the book of Second Edges, chapter 2, yep. verses uh, 10. Mm -hmm. It says, Thus saith the Lord unto Ezra, Tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. Right, so first and foremost, the kingdom of heaven is for the Israelites and none else. All right, Joel, what, 2 and 27? The Lord said that I am in the midst of Israel, and basically he knows no other nation. No other nation, that's right. You know, go ahead. It says, their glory also will I take unto me and give these the everlasting tabernacles which I have prepared for them. You see that? And this is ultimately the mercy. And we have those everlasting tabernacles that the Lord has prepared for us. Basically, we have spiritual bodies in the heavens that are waiting for us, man, to be inhabited. You see that? And that's where the, that's where the immortality is going to uh, take place, man. That's where per perfection sets in. Right. See? Going. Yeah, read down to uh, 13. Bro. It For says, sure. They shall have the tree of life for an ointment of sweet savor. They shall neither labor nor be weary. Mm -hmm. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that ye may be sh that that they may be shortened and the kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. And that said, can I read that one more time? Yep. It says, Go and ye shall receive. Yep. Pray for a few days unto you. That they may be short. And that's the spirit we in, man. We're praying for a few, few days. Pursuing in Matthew, what, 24, verse 22, that the Lord shortened the, the, the days for the elect's sake. Right. So we're praying for those few days because ultimately what's coming? Forever. That's right, everlasting life. Everlasting life, man. Perfection, immortality, man. Living forever. Being like the Lord. Pursuing what, First John, the third chapter? Mm -hmm. It tells you that what? When the Lord, Yahweh, shall, uh, shall appear, we shall be just like him. Yeah. All right? Let me keep going. God. Uh, says, verse 13 again. And we'll, uh, put yep. Go, and you shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. Man. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Right. See, the kingdom is already prepared. You see that? Watch. Watch and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass. Because after that, it, it's it. Mm -hmm. We in the last rule of the heathen, all right, dealing with this Edomite. And Israel is going to be on top forever. That's right. You know? And it's already written. All right? We were just given this grace period so that the, the value of the book can be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, when you read the scriptures, it said the blood of Yahweh Shai was shed from the foundation of the earth. So it was already, it's already prepared for us. The victory is already written. Okay. We just have to, as the whole, uh, Lord willing, with those men and you a uh, few sisters who watch, Lord willing, we're of that number, that remnant elect. That were already prepared to be glorified. We just got to go through our walk. We got to go through the straight gate. But we're already covered. And that's the beauty. And that's where comfort comes. Is that we know we already have victory. However, we still have to go through our walk. We still have to, you know. Even Yahweh Shai's plight was already written. It was already written that he was going to be uh, slain. It was written. It said the lamb slain from the foundation of the earth. Mm -hmm. Meaning the Lord had already wrote that. All right. But he still had to be born. He still had to grow up. He still had to go through what? His sacrifice. All right, and he that, that that blood was shed to give us this grace period so that we can be justified by faith. Okay. And doing what we're doing is a part of that, man. You know, going out on the highways and the byways, preaching, doing it, what, it, what he told Ezra to do, praying for you know, praying mm -hmm. and fasting so that the days be shortened. And as you can see, the the sacrifice under Yahweh Shai that we're making, the things are speeding up. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Lord is hearing our cry. All right, and how do we know He's endowed us? With the Holy Spirit, we know the names. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. we're coming together, brothers. We didn't know each other, all right. But we're like the best of friends, like brothers, all right, from from a, a whole nother lifetime. Come. And really, we're brothers from the foundation of the earth with Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. And that's the family reunion that's being prepared right here, man. Come. 
through the Holy Spirit. You know, yeah. that's it. Can I add on to that? Yep, yep. Uh, Hebrews 12, yep. about the, the church of the firstborn, Hebrews yep. 12, Hebrews 22. Yep, yep. Come, add on to that. Yep. Like the brother always goes into the elder, you know, it's just one big spiritual family. You know what I'm saying? And we all, we all knew each other before and we're all coming back collectively through the Holy Spirit. Like it tells you in uh, Isaiah 34, he said, it, it was my spirit that has gathered them. Right. You see? Right. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 12. All right, and 22, but ye are come unto the Mount Sion, and unto a city of the living God, and to the heavenly Jerusalem, and unto a company of innumerable angels, mm -hmm. to the general assembly, and the church of the firstborn. That's the elect. That's those first spirits, all right, from the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. The general assembly of the church of the firstborn, mm -hmm. you know? And when we when we were uh, first born, we were ultimately Yahweh Shah was the first spirit created, and we were created after that. And those are the bodies that we're trying to fight to get back into. Okay. And once again, uh, real quick, can you give me what's that Second Corinthians five? Yep. Or did you already have that? For that that's on, but we can get it. Yeah, yeah, we we'll just wait. Yeah. We'll just wait. Okay. That, that goes into it as well because we're yearning to get back into that to that to those forms. And this time, we're going to rule on earth in those bodies. So we're going to have terrestrial bodies It's going to be extraterrestrial because we were made to dwell on earth. Huh. And th th that's what we're crying and yearning for, to get out of these weak-ass costumes, man. You know? And it's a beautiful thing that a lot of people can't really fathom because what? They're carnal. Huh. All right? You got it. These are all spiritual things, man. That's right. It tells you, uh, was in it, 1 Corinthians 2, that uh, the spiritual things are, uh, let's just say, um, foolish to a natural man. To a natural man. They can't perceive this. That's why... In order to be, in order to obtain or have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, it has to have, you have to have a, a high level of thinking, man. Right. The Lord has to be supple with you. Mm -hmm. You know, because Esau can come to you and tell you on the left hand side, you're going to be immortal, cyborgs, and this and that, and niggas don't say nothing. But we tell you through righteousness, <laughs> we're going to inherit everlasting life. All right. We're going to be gods on earth. Okay. And people lose their damn mind, but it's all right. Come. You know? Yep. Finish that 23, I'm going to go back. Right. This is Hebrews chapter 12 and 23. To the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven. Which are written in heaven. That's the key there. You see? Go ahead. And to the power, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. He's go. I got one to add on to you before we go to Romans. All right. This is Ephesians. Okay. This is Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3 on down to five and it reads Ephesians 1 and 3 it says blessed be the power and father our Lord Hamashiach Yahawashai who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Yahawashai man and that's ultimately what the body of the elect that's joined together through this wisdom knowledge and understanding you see mm -hmm. it says reading on verse 4 Ephesians 1 and 4 it says according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, man. And that's really heavy because even going back to Genesis, the first chapter, all right, when you read about the Allah Hayim, the judges, the powers, those first spirits, right? Hey, we were with Yahweh Shah before the creation of everything that we see, man. The elements, the Lord creating the heavens and the earth, etc., the lights, yeah. everything, yeah. you know? Basically, before the elements came together to form creation, that's right. we was there. Lord willing, we are those spirits, you know? It says... And most people, when they see us, they, they're not looking at it like that. When you see in the re, reassurgence of the, the men of the Lord, the prophets, that's who they are. Okay. Those are those first fruit spirits here in mortal flesh, okay? And that's why you have to be able to look past the flesh. Because when you look at us, like it says with Paul, his, his, his letters are, are powerful and weighty, but his, his bodily presence is weak. Mm. He's one of those men. Paul was with Yahweh from the foundation of the earth. Now, his story had him to be going off at first, just like us. We yep. were going off. Yep. All right. But once, you know, it, uh, the, we were educated, <laughs> the engrafted word kicked in, we moved with fervency to follow the lamb with the servant you going. You know? Heavy. You know? Ephesians 1 and 4 says, According as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. And that's ultimately what we're fighting for, man. We're fighting to be as it says in Peter's, to be blameless, all right? King David said, blessed is the man who was found without transgression. So ultimately, that mercy, man, at the end of the day, man, is, is, is heavyweight, mm -hmm. you know? 
to be found spotless before the throne of the Lord. And that's what that blood was shed for. That's the, the reason for that blood, so that we can be ushered into the new covenant while in the, we're in a grace period right now. Mm -hmm. We're not in the new covenant. Now we've received the Holy Spirit, which was given, and this is kind of like the start covenant. of us entering into it, but we're under grace right now. To be fully entered into the new covenant, we need new bodies. We can't be in the full, fully in the new covenant with this flesh. It doesn't, it, it doesn't go hand in hand because we, will, we won't sin anymore. Covenant. And we damn sure won't have to tell our people not to sin. It's already going to be embedded in us. Right. So we, go, we have to be upgraded, man. That's the point of us doing this show. You know? You got that. All right. Romans, Romans 8 and... 18. All right. So this is the book of Romans chapter 8 and 18. Start at, start at 16. And 16, Romans 8 and 16, for the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. All right, everything is spiritual. That's why we don't need an ancestry DNA test. We don't need validation for vocab Malone or any of these devils that got something to say. This is all in the spirit. This is how we know, man. The spirit bear witness that we are the children of the most high. You got it? Mm -hmm. Like Ezekiel 37, it said we will stand on our feet as a great army. Aren't we doing that? Didn't we come from a dead state? That alone is proof for Israelites. And that cuts you niggas that try to say the so-called Latino Native American tribes and the brothers who may look like Edomites, Amites, Moabites. The, 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 the fact that they're standing up, calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, repenting, going out preaching, praying to the Yahweh. Hey, that, that's proof. A spirit bear witness with our spirit. The scripture said we would return. And looks can be deceiving. <laughs> as we were just talking about before the camera came on. That's right. But anyway... The spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. That's right. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the power and joint heirs with Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. If so be, all right, and what are, what are we joint heirs with the earth? That will, that's what was given to Yahweh Shai as an inheritance from his father. Okay. And he's going to share it with us. And what comes on, what, what's in the earth? God. Everything, the, the heathen, yep. okay, uh, 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 minerals, trees, resin, yep. <laughs> water, mm -hmm. that's going to all be shared and parted amongst the 12 tribes of Israel, starting with the 144,000, man. Yep. Co-rulership. Co-rulership. Co-rulership, co-heirs, all the blessings that the Lord is going to get, he's going to share that with his men. That's right, bro. It's like Solomon did. God. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be be also glorified together. Right. That's why we're doing what we're doing now. Because ultimately, what are we doing? We're suffering with the Lord. Mm -hmm. All the shit, all the hell that we catch here in America, Babylon, and in our daily lives. All right? Because we're walking the walk alongside with Yahweh Shai and the Spirit, man. To partake, ultimately, in those blessings in the end. We believe that. Right. I got one for you. You got it? Luke 22 and 28. Mm. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me, mm. that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Yahshua. Yeah, that's heavy. I remember you brought that out, going into that word table. All right? We're, we're literally going to be the elites, if you will, of the kingdom of heaven. We're going to be those righteous bankers, as you said, man. Divvying it out, you know, parts of the land. This brother's going to govern here. You're going to have this many men under you. You take this part of the world, you're going to govern that. You're going to control these resources. You're going to control the wealth over here. That's how it's going to be because ultimately that's what's going to bring the proper order and functioning of things on the planet Earth. That's right. That government, that, that governing body, the house of David. That's right. Bro. See? That's right. All right, back to Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Man, we got a lot of things coming, man. So all the shit that we go through in this life, the hell that we catch, it can't it can't be compared to the glory that the Lord is going to reveal in us, man. Because you're talking about immortality. You're talking about being put back in the position of being a God, man. Right? Even when we speak about it, our words don't even really do us justice on that power and those things that the Lord is going to share with us, man. You know? True, true. It says... For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. You see that was ultimately the elect, which is which is why we fight in this ministry, man, because we're we're fighting to get put back in our celestial state. 
You know, that extraterrestrial state as the gods of the earth. You got it? Real quick. Second Edges 8 and 45. Be not wroth with us, but spare thy people and have mercy upon thine own inheritance, for thou art merciful unto thy creature. You got it, right? And, the, and, the, and the, that word creature, people see that and think, you know, it's talking about everybody. It's talking about the Israelites. But creation itself is yearning and crying for the sons of God to be put back in their rightful order because this mess really started with the fall of Adam with Eve's sin. Adam and Eve's sin, starting with Eve, <laughs> okay, really, the sons of God not being in their proper order, okay, leads to what? Decay. Mm -hmm. More decay on the earth, order being broken, and what does that lead to? Decay, death, wickedness, no boundaries, no limit, mm -hmm. okay, and as, Yahweh, as the Lord said, all right, uh, nothing will be refrained from them. God. People pretty much will do as they will. That's why the rightful judges of the earth have to be set back up. Everything is crying for that. Ants, roaches, God. the rats, pit bulls, rat, everything is crying. Everything is out of order. The earth itself is yearning for right order to be put in place so that it can breathe. Yeah. Okay? It says that in uh, Second Edges. Yep. Yep. Second, you got it. Yeah. Second. That's why. That's why you know, the planet Earth itself is a living it's organism. Man. The Earth is alive, right? The Earth is really, literally fighting against this damn devil, man. Right? That's why everything oh, wow. you see going on in the Earth, you know, er earthquakes, uproars of, of, of people, uh, uh, people dying, cancer. All right, the stress of nations. Why? Because the wicked is in power. All right. I want to bring this out real quick. Uh, it's Isaiah twenty-four. Right, just land back on the fact that there has to be a new rulership set up. Yeah. Isaiah 24, verse 5, it says, The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. And this word ordinance here, it goes into the prescribed laws of the Most High. All right, so as I always bring this out, Yahweh Shem Yahushai set up the earth, and the earth was supposed to be ruled in a particular way. But due to the rulers, uh, uh, the rulers being wicked, the wicked rulers that are in power, I should say, they, they have done away with that. And this is why we have the earth that you see today. Right? right. Quick one. Yep. Isaiah 26 and 9. With my soul have I desired thee in the night, yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the, inhab the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Right. And who's going to, who's, therefore, who's going to establish the judgments in the earth? All right, you got Yahweh, 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 why Yahweh shy, and then you have what? The elect, the 140 tabernacle, tabernacle of David. So they're going to be the ones that's going to implement proper judgment in the earth. And then what did it say? It said, when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. You see that? So, so these heathen, all right, that's going to be under our subjection, they're going to be forced to learn righteousness. Right? That's why it tells you in Jeremiah, I'm going to add on to that. Jeremiah chapter 3 that basically the house of David, the governing body, will be known as the throne of the Lord, right? Let me get that real quick. Jeremiah 3 and 17, it says, At that time, at that time they should call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord. You see that? It says, And all the nations shall be gathered unto it, to the name of the Lord, Yehovah, to Jerusalem. Neither shall they walk any more after their imagination of their evil heart. You see that? Right. So the whole world going to learn righteousness. Yeah, no rat. You can't eat rat. <laughs> Leave the rat alone. Leave the possum alone. And the pig, let it clean the earth. Put the shrimp back. Put the shrimp back. Okay? No man with man. No, a boy can't turn himself into a girl. A girl can't turn herself to a boy. Rightful order, which will lead to peace. All right? Mm -hmm. Starting at Jerusalem. See? Okay? You want me to go back to Romans 8? Yeah, and read down to 21 by Bishop Claus. Okay, yeah, we'll wrap it up. We'll get one we'll get more, wrap it up. We'll yeah, we'll get a few more. Gotcha. All right, so this is uh, Romans 8 and uh, 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestations of the sons of God. Mm -hmm. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected them uh, the same in hope. Right, right, so ultimately we were created to go off. This flesh, yep. yep. Like we wouldn't have wanted to, if we was, could write the story, we would have just been Adam would have never went off. God. But the Lord <laughs> he has his, his, his way. And call Halal Yahweh Bashimi Shah. We're not offended in it. It says, 
because the creature itself also shall also be delivered from the bondage of corruption, these bodies, yep. into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. Into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. So you're talking about perfection here, man. Yes, and the Lord is going to get rid of it. The scriptures say in my sword, the decay and death, which is the flesh. Mm -hmm. You know? So the upgrade is going to come. That's right. I got um, 2nd Ezra 6 and 25. Bring that up. Get it? Oh, you got it? Okay. 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and 25. Mm -hmm. It says, Whosoever remaineth from all these things that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation. In the end of your world. Right. And that links up with Luke 21 and 36. Pray ye always, you know, that you be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. Go ahead. That's right. And the men that are received shall see it, who have not tasted death from their birth. Hey, you certain, there's certain men of the elect that are not going to taste of death. Mm -hmm. There's some standing here mm -hmm. that should not taste of death. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Right, and when was our true birth in the heavens? Heavy. Our true birth, all right, uh, though we have these births when we were born here, just like Yahweh Shai, he was born through Joseph and Mary, but what was his true birth? To, but to, to be breathed out of the mouth directly of Yahweh himself, hmm. you know? And if we're of that number, <laughs> God. we good, we're immortal. All right, so how you have to think above and not beneath, okay? It says that have not tasted death from their birth, and the and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. You see that? And the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. That's those new bodies, man. Because hey, then the Lord said he was going to get rid of the heart of uh, the stony heart and give us a heart of flesh under the new covenant, man, where we're going to be perfected. Mm -hmm. And everything, the law, such commandments are going to be embedded in us, mm -hmm. right? We're not under it right now, man. Right, and we won't have to teach. The very, the way we know we're not under it is that we're still teaching. Jake, we're ministers of the new covenant. We're teaching the new covenant. When we're in it, we're not going to have to teach. Come. <laughs> That's the very proof that we're not in the new covenant. It's saying we wouldn't have to teach no more. So if you got somebody doing a video telling us we're in the new covenant, you're going off. <laughs> you're going off because really you're teaching and you shouldn't have to teach us. <laughs> God, all Israel would know me. That's it. We would we would, we would all know. Loser. <laughs> I got something for you. Second. Stop adding us, man. Don't add us to your stupid videos, man. Come. Just do you do the work, jerk. <laughs> Second Corinthians five. Can you hold First Corinthians fifteen forty eight? Absolutely. And that pretty much be the last one. But this is um. This is. Matter of fact, before I get that, let me get this one. Wisdom of Solomon. All right. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. Just want to make that point. Dealing with what? The perfection, the upgrade, those new bodies. All right. Never going off again, man. The glory that shall be revealed in us. Right? Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. And it reads, it says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. There will be some of you that won't taste the death. Right? Verse 2, it says, in the sight of the unwise, which is really what? The people of the world, right? In the sight of the wise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. The point, verse 3, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they're in peace. See that? Because ultimately, there's no loss in, in dying in Yahweh Shah, man. Right. Because those spirits that do pass away are going to be the first ones to get raised up. Their works do follow them, and when you know that, you're immortal already. Come. To understand death fully and to understand what we're coming into makes us, we're starting a process of immortality with the uh, understanding entering into our inward part. Mm. You know, mm. we're, we're at peace. We're okay with the fact that, yeah, we might have to, you know, take a death. We're okay with that. Now, when it, when it comes, we may tense up and be like, but ultimately the Lord is going to put a spirit in us. We, hey, we just, I'm just going to call on the name until my spirit's back in the spirit world. God. What are we gonna fight to live here? Right, <laughs> you know, right. to, to stay here? If that's my, that's our plight. That's our plight. They love not their lives unto the death, and that's what separates the elect from just the regular Israelite. Okay. The fact that this world and anything that comes with it has no bearing over their decision making. Mm. Okay, which makes them immortal. This is the process. We're starting the process of immortality. So we got this understanding. All right, but we ain't finished yet. Okay. okay? 
verse 4, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 4 says, And though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. You see that? Because in the end, ultimately what? We're going to live forever. All right? We're going to be like Yahweh Shai himself. We're going to partake in the blessings with Yahweh Shai, man. So that's, that's heavy weight, man. You see? It says, verse uh, uh, 5, it says the point, And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, as we read in Romans the 8th chapter, going through those sufferings. If, if we suffer with the Lord, we're going to partake in that, uh, in that co-rulership, man. That's right. we got to follow him all the way. Obedient unto death. That's what he was. He gave a great example. And that's the man. Call the law Yahweh by the right. water to the Most High God Yahweh for sending that his only begotten son down in human flesh to give us the example, man. That's right. Okay. It says, and they should be greatly rewarded for Yahweh by the right. proved them and found them worthy for himself, man. That's it. Yep. That's good. Beautiful, yep. And where are you going to start? Uh, verse uh, 48, Baba Kusha. 1 Corinthians 15 and 48. All right. Man, God, I started at 47. You got it. The first man is of the earth, meaning Adam. He was made of the dust of the ground, okay? It says, the second man is the Lord from heaven. He's coming back in his heavenly body. He ain't coming back with, with, with flesh and blood, okay? It says... Hold up. As is the earthy, such are they that are also earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. Mm -hmm. Woo. But just imagine Melchizedek's body. Because remember it said he had neither mother nor father. But he was like, he came into the earth in that heavenly body and broke bread with Abraham. Con. No, we're going we're gonna to be, that's proof that those bodies can dwell on earth. We're going to be in those bodies under him. <laughs> Man. You see? Mm -hmm. So it says, where, where are we at? Uh, verse 49. It oh, says, verse 48 is like it. Yep. As is the earthy, such are, uh, such are they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. Mm -hmm. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Man, we're going to be like the angels, man. We're going to be like the Lord. We're going to be upgraded, man, from, from this, this wicked and incorruptible flesh to perfection, man. That's right, bro. You got to believe that. That's right. Like the elder was saying, you got to really believe that the Lord is going to do exactly just that. Right, because spiritual power ain't coming to you if you just... Think it's cute on the videos. No, you have to really believe that these things are going to happen. And see, like we were saying, that's when Yahweh Shai really took, took like, he, when he healed people, he healed them because they really believed he could heal them. Come. For the spiritual power, that ain't just coming because you're saying it. No, you have to really believe. You got Israelites that don't believe Moses parted the Red Sea. You got Israelites that don't believe that spiritual power. They think that's witchcraft. Right. You have to really believe these things. What's written in this these pages you have to believe it. You have to really be, we're speaking it into exi existence, man. Okay. That's the role of the prophets. That's right. But we believe everything in here wholeheartedly. The resurrection, we don't doubt that. If you doubt these things, that's why you got to pray to Yahweh Shem Yahshua for more faith. Because okay. if you doubt these things, then you're damned. So you got to check yourself. Ask yourself, sit down and really be real with yourself. Do I believe this, what these brothers are saying with was being taught, do I believe that Yahweh Shah really raised from the dead? Ask yourself that. Because mm. if he didn't, we threw. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, I got something real quick. Yeah, I mean. Philippians 3 and 20, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence we also look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. Verse 21, who shall change our vile body? These are vile bodies that we're inhabiting right now, man. Who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able, he is able even to subdue all things unto himself, man. And we're gonna partake in that, man. That's right. We're gonna partake in the in full dominion alongside with Yahweh Shai if we are those men that hopeful elect, man. That's right. You know? So anything else? That's it. Hey, so hey, we pray that this lesson be ed uh, edifying, man. Just wanted to talk about the glory that shall be revealed in us. Immortality and perfection is on its way. Keep the faith, man. All right? Hey, call Halei Mala Yahweh Shimei Awashai. 
Uh, for this lesson, we pray that it was edifying. We we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, a double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring, the elect that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Hey, Shalom. 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 That's right. That's right.